Do you want to know how to zoom? Just like this in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I can promise you, I can assure you, if you're a server player, you are well and truly allowed to use this zoom feature in them in the servers. If you do go ahead and enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get into the tutorial of how you can zoom in on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I will add that this version works this works on only Windows 10 platforms and it works from 1.16.100 up until the most recent release of Minecraft Bedrock Edition which is 1.19.51 and I will also add when 1.19.41 came out it did take about a week for the new version to release for it actually to work with 1.19.41 so every so often you have to wait a while for the, new, for the update to work so if it says Minecraft if it does just says it doesn't work then you just have to wait a little bit and keep trying it and then it will work again after a few weeks so here we are on the github website i will leave the link to this in the description by the way i'm going to give credit where credit is due to xrox windows 10 fov changer so you just what you want to do is once you've loaded it up it shows you a quick tutorial a quick thing ever wanted to have a better view in mcpe of course we have uh or show uh or show you your connected server in discord that's quite cool. Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Windows 10 only. So this unfortunately doesn't work in Windows 11. I don't know if there's a new version out for Windows 11 because obviously I don't use Windows 11, so I've never looked. So you have Zoom via Hotkey, FOV, Hide Hand, and Sensitivity. Rich Discord, Rich Press Three, Press Press Tent. It shows which connected server you use and the port, if not. 19.132. So what you want to do is you want to click download directly, and as you can see, it's downloading a zip file. So once you have let this download, what you want to do is you want to just quickly, you want to open the file. So as you can see, we're here in my file explorer. As you can see, this sidebar here I have blurred out because I don't want you to see that. So as you can see, you've got fovchanger.exe. So what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads page, and what we're going to do is we're going to right click. And we're going to extract all. If you have WinRAR, you can extract here. Extract. And as you can see now, you have FOV Changer 1. So you have the source and the licensing. But what you want to do is you want to double click on the application. Now open the application, but before you open the application, what you want to do is go down and pin it to your taskbar. So it's on my taskbar now. And I have two instances, which is my normal one and the new one. So let me show you the new one, the one I've just downloaded. So as you can see here, first things first, click start. Minecraft not found. So what you have to do now is you need to first open back up Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So as you can see, this is the one we've just installed. So first things first, you need to look what you're ever... See, what you want to do is see this thing here? You can change this to whatever hockey you like. So I like to use C. Then what you want to do is you, you want the FV to turn on as that's what you're going to zoom into. So then what you want to want to do is you want to click edit and then I'll show you what I see here once I can find how to show you. Nope, oh, that's the other one. That's my version. So, unfortunately it won't let me show you this little pop-up box. But when you click the edit button you'll see 60 to 30 usually. So what you want to do it's come on to your Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You want to go down to, you want to scroll down, you want to scroll down to video. And what you want to do is you want to first look what your FOV is set to. And mine is set to 100. So back here, FOV change, you want to click edit. And you want to change the 60 to 100. Or whatever your FOV is. Then you want to just click save. And then you want to go to hide hand. And you want to make sure it says 0 to 1, which that's default. Now sensitivity. What you want to do is you want to go to keyboard and mouse on Minecraft Bedrock. When, when you're here on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, no we don't want that. You want to look what your sensitivity is up here. And as you can see mine is set to 60. 
to the back on and for the V change of the sensitivity and you want to change the little pop up box and whatever the, the first box says uh, to 60. I think 60 is usually the default option. Click save and then discord at the bottom. When you have discord open it will show you what server you're connected to and what micro version you're on. Click save and then once you're done, click start. Now to know if the discord's working, you have to go over to discord and it says that I am playing FOV changer. So what you want to do to stop that is you want to minimize FOV changer now. And um, once you're back on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you can go to full screen. And so as not to spoil what I'm working on, I'm going to hide that. So you want to just click to join any world or server that you like. And when it's loaded up, you should see a difference. Unable to connect to world. That is an issue with Hive sometimes. If we just do it again, there we go. Now we're locating the server. So what you want to do now is now you load into Hive. I can literally press C or whatever hockey you chose to zoom in. As you can see. How cool is that? Oh, I'm getting waved at. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah. I get a lot of people waving at me in the Hive Hub for some reason. Now, the only unfortunate thing about this mod is that it unfortunately says that you're playing FOV Changer when you're actually just playing Minecraft Bedrock and it's quite annoying because it doesn't tell them what you're actually doing which is what it's supposed to do so the way to stop that is by coming back into Minecraft Bedrock Edition click the X on Discord, minimize, go back to Minecraft Bedrock Edition then check your Discord and then what you want to do is you just have to it still says you're playing FOV changer until you click into Minecraft. Then it should be working then. Sometimes you have to reload your game for it to work. So now let me show you when we go into a say a Treasure Wars match. So as you can see we reload into this Treasure Wars map with zoom turned on. If you wanna if you're a rusher like me, you can zoom in to see if anybody's on that island, and as you can see they are. So what I would have to do now is just zoom in on them and watch what they're doing whilst I'm collecting gold to rush them. So let me just demonstrate that, so as you can see, we can literally just zoom in on what he's doing, like this. Now we've got this, we can finally just rush. Do that. Run in. Where do you think you're going? To get my treasure, but what he doesn't know is I have a sword and I'm right behind him to clap his cheeks. Oh, he has a sword as well. And I died, but the you can that is the benefit of zoom. Um, you can just zoom in on servers and it is fully allowed. I did make sure of that. I request, I asked and say if I had a zoom mod. Uh, and it was a third party client, is it allowed in the servers? And the auto apply saying, yes, of course it should be allowed. So you are free to use Zoom whenever you want. And you may notice I've used it for over a year in my videos now. And it's just like Optifine Zoom, except it's a third party client. By putting on your taskbar, you don't have to go into your uh, uh, file explorer every time. And by putting on your taskbar, it also saved your settings. So you don't have to set it all up every time. But yeah. When I start a video, hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Sam and YT here. I just have to hold and see, and then I can also F1 if I want. And this is also quite good if you want if you're doing like a thumbnail. You can like zoom in and take your screenshots. And this is all it's doing is it's it's just a hotkey. It's all it is. If you come down to your video settings down here. This is your FOV, when you click C, it's sending it all the way straight down to 30. That's all it's doing. That is all it is doing. The only annoying thing is if you're in chat and you press C, it zooms in. That's the only annoying thing about it if you just tap C. And say I'm in uh, this monitor here. Like, I'm in OBS right now. I have hold C, it's still going to zoom me in. Which... It's not, it's quite annoying in my opinion, but, you know, it's a benefit. Zoom is still a thing, you still have Zoom. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, 
And yeah, that's me, Summer YT. Over and out.